So, Grenada, a chance to equalize right now. This will be Jason Roberts. Roberts. Scores! How quickly things turn. You know, I was part of a, of a coaching staff there. I was the assistant men's national coach. Grenada, they hired a few foreign coaches, kind of put us all together and, and hope to, to propel the team to the World Cup, or at least as far as they could get. You know, we, we only had a few professional players, so that's always a, a big challenge. But at the same time, you know, we got to do some things. We got to go past the first round, and we got to play against the United States, which was a really neat experience. So we played home and away. We had a 10-day training camp, I remember, at Howard University in Washington. Then we flew up to Columbus, and we played the United States in Columbus, Ohio, big crowd, a lot of hype, a lot of famous players on the U.S. team. You know, we, we ended up losing it 3-0, uh, but we went back to Grenada and, and lost 3-2, and we gave them quite a good game the second time around. Driven ball, Charles is there to put it in! Nice goal from Grenada. So we have more contact with players at the uh, at the college level because we see them every day we, you know we, we work with them on a, on a daily basis basically which sometimes at the national team level you know they have their own club teams and they get called in from, from national camp and that's when we have interactions with them and we work with them um, now I worked in developing soccer nations small countries you know the Virgin Islands Grenada and St. Vincent where you would have a lot more contact than maybe a national team coach in the United States or, or a bigger country so we were able to work with the players once, twice, three times a week, depending on the situation. Uh, we were able to see them play very often. Um, so it wasn't hugely different, although there's more contact at the college level on a daily basis. You know, of course, player selection's a little different. Uh, you know, we're, we're picking the best players from clubs. We can look at, at different opponents and pick certain players for certain opponents. It's, I guess, a little more broad strokes at the national level than it is at the college level. Everything's like a club team, very specific. We have our group of players. We try to improve that group of players. We got to put them in the right positions to help us succeed. There's always connections. You always got staff that you worked with and you have former players that are there. But you know, athletics and sport in general is a very nomadic game and you know, sometimes you lose, you lose track of people. But at the same time, you know, there's, those are friends that you made for a lifetime. So if the time ever comes or I'm in those countries again or an opportunity arises in those countries that happens to take me there, you know, I think those friendships would, would blossom right away. The game changes a lot and people change and personnel changes, so um, it's always a challenge to, to, to maintain, but you just hope that you've built a, a strong uh, enough relationship during your time there that will, will take you through and reunite you even if you haven't talked in years. The game itself is... Uh, is ever changing and, and I think the best advice, I don't know if, if somebody that told me or something I've observed, is to try to change yourself as a coach all the time. Try to adapt all the time to the group of players you have. And that, that may not happen overnight, but you have to be able to be a good enough coach to recognize, I need to adjust myself to the group because it's impossible for the group to adjust themselves to you. So I do a lot of self-evaluation every year, especially in the summertime and, and we try to take something that we did right and continue on with that and recognize the things that I've done wrong and, and try to change those. But in the end, all the work that I do, I do it for the players because my job is to be the best that I can for them in the hope that the product they put on the field is the best that they can be. I don't know if it's somebody's advice that gave me that, but that's just something that I've noticed just working at the different levels I have. You can't be rigid. You have to be ever adapting. Um, you can't coach the same way when you're 60 than you did when you're 40. And if you did, you haven't made any adjustments in life. You haven't progressed as a coach. And I think that's my, I don't know, the advice that I give myself all the time, is to continue to adapt for the benefit of the players. It's one of those experiences that will stay with you for the rest of your life because you get to play against your adopted country in the United States and you get to, to be in a, in a situation that maybe very few people are. You know, I think everybody wants to get to and, and and I consider myself very fortunate and lucky to have been able to be given that opportunity.